Irish pike are aggressive takers, far more so than their English counterparts. And when I look out across these big expanses of water, big massive sheep, miles and thousands and thousands of acres in size, and God, where do, you, where do you start? Well, the first places I look for, immediately study the map, are the deep hole areas. I don't mean deep holes going down to hundreds of feet, deep, deep holes going down to 50 feet. The colours I'm using, because I'm fishing in like a whiskey stained colour of water, I'm using fluorescent chartreuse yellow, fluorescent orange, something that is visible in deep water. For ledgering dead baits on any of these big locks, this is my standard setup which I use almost exclusively. It consists of an 18 inch, 30, 40, 50 pound stranded wire leader, six, four, two size hooks, four, four and a half inches apart on the bait, swivel. Then to give me the distance for my ledger link, I have a nine, 10, 12 inch stretch of fluorocarbon. Now, as I've mentioned, I'm working in a deep hole area out from an, an island where the water goes down to not so far as 50 feet. Now when you're fishing these jerk baits, I cast them as far as I can, let them sink all the way to the bottom and cause the chartreuse, fluorescent orange, red hot perch, those are colours that stand out in the deep. The pike can see those and for that, for that reason that's why I, I use them, they're great deep water colours. Gord and his two Swedish friends landed 60 pike in the three days, with as many fish lost. The key was to anchor and then fish lures and dead baits into deep water holes. The most effective lures were jerk baits and large tail baits, fish slow and deep. They all landed plenty of doubles, with Gord's best fish weighing just over 21 pounds.